Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So today I have a uh, another pen to show you uh, for my collection. Uh, this is the um, uh, this this pen holds a very special place in my heart, um, and it's one reason why I will never sell this pen. Um, or at least have no immediate plans to sell the pen unless maybe it gets damaged over time perhaps um, but um, this was my very first Visconti now uh, up until this point I probably had spent no more than about a hundred and twenty hundred and fifty pound on a pen and uh, I really wasn't getting any pens that I really liked, like the feel of, and I decided to increase my budget. I'd been watching videos from, from Brian Goulet and from Stephen Brown, and they had both shown off this pen, and this is the Visconti Homo Sapiens London Fog. And although this was probably four or five times the price of um, uh, one of the other pens, my most expensive pens, I decided I was going to pay the price and uh, I wanted to get this in a um, uh, in a medium nib uh, unfortunately though uh, the retailer I bought it from uh, um, Pure Pens uh, didn't have it um, they had it in a fine nib they did say hey look we can swap the nib out if you want and put a medium nib in because we have one in a Florentine Hills and I said, um, you know what? Let's just uh, let's just leave it with a fine nib. I, I'm more of a medium nib person, but I said let's just leave it with a fine nib. So I bought the pen as is, and so let me remove the box, the outer box, and in here uh, you have a lovely uh, you have a flap that comes down, and then you have this box. And this box, if I remove the box, is a stunning, stunning. Uh, box from Visconti. Um, it's a, I'd like to say it's a wood box, uh, like lacquered with something, some kind of like plastic or something, but uh, um, and polished to very high standard. Um, I don't know what exactly what this is. It does feel like it, it is made of wood. It's a very, very heavy, sizable box. Um, but if I open this up, I'll show you. This is the Visconti Homo Sapiens London Fog. So, let's see if I can bring some light in a little bit better so we can see this in a little bit more light. So, if I just remove this, you can see here, if I zoom in a little bit, you'll see that the cap is very, very beautiful. Um, but the body is even better. Now this I have inked up many, many times, so you will see a little bit of inky water residue maybe in there. Uh, this is a Paravac filler, so these are very, very hard to clean out. Uh, you will always have a little bit of a very small amount of inky water in there. But this is a, such a stunning, stunning pen. And as I said, this this holds a very special place in my heart because... Uh, it was my first Visconti, and it sent me down the Visconti route, and to the point that I have over 50 uh, Viscontis to date, uh, probably by the time this video releases, I'll probably have over 60. It's uh, I do like Visconti pens for a number of reasons, and I'll go into that in a little bit more detail, but uh, let me remove the pen. And then in here, you'll find that you'll have the uh, London Fog Limited Edition Identity Card. And it will give you details about it. So it says here, it's a founder pen or roller, 23 cat, 950 Palladium Dream Touch, one tone or single tone nib. Uh, the nib is a Palladium. Um, and the it's an acryloid, which is a mix of uh, acrylic and celluloid. Uh, which is uh, Visconti's, uh, um, their, their um, what they call it is acryloid basically. Um, it's a double reservoir power filler and I'll show you that as well. And this is number 621 of 888. So you get that with, with the uh, pen. Uh, you also uh, get a, um, 
You don't always get these with Viscontis, but this is a Visconti brochure. And it basically just goes through and it shows you sort of like the, the various heads of state using Visconti pens, um, various uh, actors, well-known uh, people, like you've got Oprah Winfrey there. Um, like you see Dante Del Vecchio here, who uh, no longer is with Visconti and, and in this picture as well, and, and that one. Um, but... Uh, uh, Dante has now moved on to Penida. Uh, there are um, some Divinas, uh, HRH edition. You have the Alchemy as well. Uh, you have uh, some other sort of Christian Bible uh, pens. Uh, and then you have the Isos Arachnus, which I actually have in my collection as well. You have some Rembrandts, you have some Divinas. You have some Michelangelo's here, uh, some Homo sapiens, and then you have the guarantee. Now, Visconti, actually, the international warranty is for two years on all of their pens now. I want to think it was it was five years originally, or maybe it was three. But um, uh, it uh, now um, uh, it has been reduced to two years. You also get the little pen wrap, a little plastic pen wrap, and then a Dream Touch. Um, that, that goes on the clip uh, and basically this uh, I'm sure you've seen this before on other Viscontis but it basically just says Palladium near 23 cap PD for Palladium 950 Dream Touch uh, and then on, on the rear it says don't press this nib will follow your dreams well any fountain pen should effectively follow your dreams in that sense like you should not need to press down when writing with a fountain pen so uh so that's really the info you get with it um and then that's the pen so uh it is a absolutely stunning stunning pen and um so let's uh, show you a little bit here the cap um, so you have the Homo sapiens uh, dual wing. Uh, you have the the um, clip bridge bridge clip here with Visconti, um, and then it's back filled with enamel. Um, you have a my pen system here, which you can you can replace with your initials, or you can you can put um, any kind of um, uh, um, jewel on there uh, or zodiac sign. Uh, but this cap is stunning, this material, and. Um, it's really the, the science you get on that. that. This is what really sent me down the Visconti route. The pens, for me, write well. Um, I do find most of the Viscontis do write well. And and after like testing this, I, I wanted a medium nib. And I got this with a fine nib. And um, I have since replaced this actually with a 1.3 millimeter stub nib. And you'll see that here, and that is a, a juicy wet nib. the The fine nib um, that I had on here was was um, uh, quite bouncy. I've put that on another pen now, um, but I'm really more of a medium nib guy, and uh, I tend to find fines a little bit scratchy now and then. So um, uh, I, but I opted for the fine, and I fell in love with it to the point that. Pure Pens at the time, Ross, that I was talking to, who's who's the owner there at Pure Pens, um, said to me that he had a Florentine Hills in a medium nib. So I bought this pen, the London Fog, in a fine nib. It arrived next working day, uh, and I tried it. I, inked, I took a few very quick photos. I inked it up, and I tested it, and I was blown away by the quality of the workmanship on this pen, the material, uh, how the pen wrote. So much to the point that within hours of playing with the pen, I got back on, on the phone to Ross and said, hey, look, um, do you still have that 14 hills in a medium nib? And he said, let me check. Yes, I do. I said, great, it's sold because I'm buying it. And I bought that, and then the next day that arrived. And that was like until that point I had not spent more than than like 120 150 pound on a pen and I spent four times as much on this one pen as my highest price pen and then I bought another pen pretty much the same price a little bit less so um 
this is just a stunning stunning pen you can see here in terms of the swirls it's it is amazing how these swirls really really look it's just absolutely stunning so for me this was my very first grail pen my very first visconti most people will start on a rembrandt or a van gogh um i was getting a bit sick of of pens that that didn't write well and, and that was my my crux to to really increase my limit on the um the upper price of the pen that i was willing to buy or spend and i decided you know i'm gonna go for it this is the grail grail pen for me i didn't think i'd then have 40 or 50 grail pens afterwards it is a slippery slope for sure, but this is such a stunning, stunning pen. Um, so it's it's amazing. It's a power vac filler. So um, you basically uh, you unscrew the the piston knob here. I'll show you, but I have to be a bit careful because it has got some inky water in. Don't want that shooting out everywhere. But basically, you pull the piston rod back, and then what you do is you put it in ink, your ink bottle here, and then basically you you push that back and then it sucks up ink so um, that's really how the power vac works and this will hold um, two and a half milliliters of ink so that is a very very large uh, volume of, of ink there so um, I think what we'll do we'll do um, uh, some measurements we'll do a size comparison we'll ink the pen up uh, and then we'll do a writing sample. But as you can see here, that Visconti is uh, London Fog is is stunning. So, in terms of size, let's get the tape measure out. We are looking full length of around 145 millimeters. And then the the cap itself, we're looking at 59 to 60 millimeters. And then the the full pen nib to end finial, we are looking at about 130 to 133 So so that is in the the category of an oversized pen for sure let me bring oh, let's do a weight check as well so you can see that and i'll do a comparison with other pens so you can see so weight uninked you're looking at 39 and a half grams the cap itself you are looking at just under 17 grams and then the body, and bear in mind this is uninked. So this is 21, just over 21 grams. So you'll get two to two and a half milliliters or grams of ink in there as well. So you're going to be looking around about 23 and a half grams inked uh, with a full amount of ink. So so that isn't bad actually. This is quite good. It's it's a fairly good sized pen. Um, so I think it's for me it's an ideal writer so let's um should we do a um, size comparison with some other pens and bring these in so put the London fog in place so we have uh, left to right we have the Pelican M600 turquoise white we have the Pelican M800 uh, Royal Gold Raden we have the Pelican M1000 we have a Twisby Diamond 580 AL we have the Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Arco very big mouthful we have a Visconti Homo Sapiens London Fog Visconti Homo Sapiens Bronze Age Lava, and you can see that these are pretty much identical in size. Really isn't a lot of difference here. Um, and 
you then have the uh, Lamy. Uh, this is a Lux or LX. It's basically an all star with gold trim and a black uh, nib. Uh, slightly more expensive version of the all star. We have an Edison Collier and we have an Edison Perlet. Now, the Edison Perlet is quite a small pen. Um, some people will think the uh, Lamy all star is actually a large pen and, and it can be um so it is in the the uh london fog is in the oversized category for sure it's about the same size as an m1000 um it's uh about the same a little bit thinner in diameter um but it's equally almost just a tad longer than the twisby diamond 580 although the bow is is uh wider though on the the london fog so there you go, that's a, a comparison to see how, how the, the pen looks. So let's do a writing sample. So this is a Visconti Homo Sapiens London Fog. Now I did replace this with a lovely, lovely 1.3 millimeter stub nib. And I do love these nibs. And you can see how juicy wet this is. Now this ink I have in here is Diamine Earl Grey. And as I said, this is a 1.3 stub. And this is a lovely, lovely, juicy, wet fire hose of a stub. So let me do some line variations. So this is without any pressure whatsoever. And you can see here, you get wider downstrokes, uh, narrower cross strokes. So if I, again, no pressure whatsoever, and then I try to apply a little bit more pressure. Now I'm not gonna push this nib any much harder than that but you can see that that is almost in terms of line variation getting twice the line variation out of it uh, and this is a lovely lovely stub nib I absolutely adore this nib this nib is beautiful so if I just uh, zoom in a little bit you'll see here that nib it's a stunning stunning nib uh, now, in terms of wetness, now we'll do a number of tests here. So we'll do the, the cross test. <laughs> that is just insane. Uh, and then we'll, we'll do a similar downstroke, which is going to put down more ink. <laughs> so... I like my Viscontis to be fire hose nibs. That is a fire hose nib for sure. Like, you are not going to get much wetter than that. Um, <laughs> I do love these. The downside with a fire hose nib is that they will take a long time to dry. Um, but... The upside is you get a much more smoother writing experience because it puts down a lot more ink. So that is the Visconti Homo Sapiens London Fog. Uh, if you do get a chance to pick one up, this is a grail pen for many people. It's limited to 888 worldwide. Uh, the stocks are running out of these. So if you get the chance to get one, pick one up soon. Uh, you will not regret it. Um, now, uh, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.